afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Live at Four. It's Charlotte Deleste's turn once yeah. again to fill in for Mark. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Little Friday, almost uh -huh, Friday. Right. Mark, I think, is in St. Martin today. Oh, yeah. He's having a grand old time. <laughs> yes, Hop on is. Facebook and watch his adventures. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, and he's sending a little mild weather our way. We'll get the forecast in just a second. Later today, we're going to be taking your pet questions for veterinarian Carrie Donahue. Mm, she'll be in a little bit later in this newscast. So you can email your questions in right now, and we will get to them later. The email is tips at channel3000.com. Plus, we have a big announcement coming up in just a little while from our very own Gary Canalti. Mm -hmm. so do not miss How about this. that for a tease? Right. Stay tuned. Here's what's making news on this Thursday. Tonight marks, marks the first night of Hanukkah, how community leaders are celebrating with the war in Israel and a rise in anti-Semitism at home. In Las Vegas, cell phone video shows what happened when a shooter opened fire on the UNLV campus. And today is Pearl Harbor Day. We'll tell you how the event is being remembered in Hawaii 82 years later. Let's take a look outside. Wow, the weather like this in December is a that gift. Doesn't that doesn't seem it? like December no, video it doesn't. there. <laughs> That's Oldbrook Park, beautiful view of the lake and the Capitol. And I guess if you don't like snow, it's another great mm -hmm. day ahead. Alex out. Harrington <laughs> yeah. out in the backyard patio with a look at what to expect. Hi, Alex. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Susan. Yeah, earlier to Mark's comment, I guess relatively speaking for December, we got kind of tropical like weather with temperatures in the 50s out there right now. I want to start off with our temperature 24 hour change. Color coordinating here with the gold glasses and the gold attire because we've got warm temperatures. Temperatures 10. 15 degrees warmer than where we were just 24 hours ago. 47 in Madison, 48 in the Dells, 50 in Janesville, our friends to the west in basketball, whopping 51 degrees. And again, normal high temperatures for this time of year. They're in the middle 30s, so we're 15 degrees above normal of that. 47 in Madison, 48 in McFarland, Edgerton at 50 degrees, Perry at 48 degrees, and a warm 50 degrees in Cross Plains. As we plan your Thursday night going on into your Friday, happy Friday Eve, everybody. We'll be, we'll be only doing temperatures in the 40s. That's it. Lows in the 40s tonight. High temperatures on your Friday, 54 degrees. And then we were mentioning that we're tracking a weather system. We've been tracking it really since last weekend. That comes in on Saturday. And following that, the temperatures will take a dip. But look at that. Even after that weather system, temperatures staying above normal over the next 10 days. We'll show some viewer photos coming up in Maine weather. That stunning sunset from Marquette County. Beautiful night, beautiful way to take those weather photos is just to go to channel3000.com slash weather. Click that post your own button. We can see those weather photos here. So I report the weather, I talk about the weather, I dress up as the weather, and we could show the weather. We'll show more weather coming up in Maine weather, and we'll track that weather system on Saturday. It's all coming on up in a bit. Thank you, Alex. Tonight marks the first night of Hanukkah, a time when Jews across the world celebrate light in the midst of darkness. But as a war in Israel and a rise in anti-Semitism at home have brought more darkness to the world, how is Madison's Jewish community coping? Our Braden Ross spoke with community leaders today. Braden? Yeah, Hanukkah is more than just potato pancakes and jelly donuts. It's about Jewish pride, and now more than ever, Madison's Jewish community hopes the holiday will bring hope in the face of hate. Temple Bethel Rabbi Jonathan Betch says the latest rise in anti-Semitism and the war in Israel and Gaza has been weighing heavily on his community. But he hopes a holiday focused on light and resilience will be a reminder of the good that still persists in the world. I think the celebration of Hanukkah is motivating. And I think it needs to be motivating. As difficult as these times are for people in the Jewish community or for both Israelis and Palestinians in Israel who are trying to, to live together, um, we indeed need to share more light and more warmth with one another. Rabbi Betch says one of the core parts of Hanukkah is to publicize the miracle by placing the menorah where it can be seen by as many people as possible. An idea he hopes will continue even in the face of anti-Semitism. Coming up at 5, I'll have more from Madison's Jewish community on the message of Hanukkah and how everyone can share in it. 
Well, that war between Israel and Hamas is now entering its third month of fighting. On the eve of Hanukkah, students in Israel decorated menorahs in honor of the estimated 130 hostages who were still being held in Gaza. The fighting between Israel and Hamas continues to escalate with the Israeli military saying it's intensifying its offensive in southern Gaza. United Nations officials say there are no safe places in Gaza and the Biden administration has urged Israel to do more to evade civilians. We target Hamas, we do not target civilians, and we've been doing everything possible to get civilians out of harm's way while we go after the terror monsters who perpetrated the October 7th massacre. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are at odds over an emergency funding package proposed by the White House, which ties Israel aid to Ukraine and other national security priorities. The Senate failed to advance the bill Wednesday afternoon with Republicans calling for more U.S. border protections. Nobody was injured after a rail car came off the tracks on Madison's east side this morning. It happened around 930 near the area of Walsh Road and Sycamore Avenue. Madison police say the train malfunctioned, which caused a rail car to come off the tracks and partially block Sycamore Avenue. Officers were put in charge of controlling traffic in the area until the nearby railroad arms could be raised. Well, without much fanfare, a deadline passed this past week that would have made significant changes to the newly liberal Wisconsin Supreme Court and next April's election. Here with more is political reporter Will Keneally. We've been talking a lot about this idea of impeachment as Republicans are looking to oust the newest liberal Supreme Court justice over comments she made during the campaign. Now they want her to recuse herself from a case involving the state's legislative districts, a case that would ultimately decide how much power Republicans have in the state capitol. Now we've been keenly watching this December 1st deadline. If Republicans successfully impeached the justice before that date, that would force a vote on her replacement this April. Now why that matters? Putting a vote for the Supreme Court seat on the April ballot could see higher Republican turnout, with the presidential primary occurring the same day. Now, I spoke with Assembly Speaker Robin Voss in October about the prospect of impeachment. You know, ultimately, that if they decide to inject their own political bias inside the process and not follow the law, we have the ability to go at the U.S. Supreme Court, and we also have the ability to hold her accountable to the voters of Wisconsin. Mr. Speaker. But again, Republicans have not moved forward on impeaching that new Supreme Court justice. Now, there have also been talks of impeaching the nonpartisan head of the state's election agency. Now, that has moved forward and is currently before a committee in the state assembly. We'll continue to track both of these stories as they move forward. Former President Donald Trump is back inside a New York court today for his civil fraud trial. The lawsuit accuses him, two of his sons, and the Trump Organization of committing fraud for years by misrepresenting the value of their properties. Before he walked into court, the former president once again called the proceedings a witch hunt. We did absolutely nothing wrong. We never even defaulted. We never had a default letter sent to us. The bank said we were a perfect customer. Trump is expected back on the stand next week. At stake is the company's ability to do business in New York. Investigators are searching for a motive following the deadly mass shooting at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. A gunman killed three people and wounded another in the university's business school yesterday. Omar Villafranca reports from Las Vegas. New cell phone video shows students and staff at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, running from campus as Wednesday's mass shooting unfolded. Everyone's just going through a hard time right now at the school. UNLV student Matthew Felsenfeld captured police rushing in to confront the shooter after he opened fire on the fourth floor of the business school building, killing three people. We're hearing sirens, we're getting text messages that this is not a joke, run, hide, fight. CBS News has identified the shooter as 67-year-old Tony Polito, a former college professor who was denied a job at the university. Authorities say the gunman died in a shootout with two university detectives outside of the building. If it hadn't been for the her heroic actions of one of those police officers who responded, there could have been countless additional lives taken. Late Wednesday, officials searched an apartment in Henderson, Nevada as part of their investigation. They also retrieved several electronic devices from the residence, including a cell phone to help determine a motive. Everything has to be looked at. Why did this guy go there? How did he get in? Why wasn't he stopped beforehand? Were there any indicators? As the investigation continues, 
All classes and academic-related activities at UNLV have been canceled through Sunday. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Las Vegas. The UNLV campus is just about two miles from the Mandalay Bay Resort on the Las Vegas Strip, the site of the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there have been more than 630 mass shootings in the country this year. Ceremonies were held around the nation to commemorate the deadly bombing of Pearl Harbor 82 years ago today. A 21-bell salute for the fallen was held at the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The attack killed more than 2,300 service members, launching the United States into World War II. At the annual Pearl Harbor Memorial event in Hawaii, 102-year-old survivor Harry Chandler recalled the bombing. I saw the Arizona going up. Saw the Oklahoma turning. And then they put us all in trucks and drove us all down into the harbor and we started saving people. With each passing year, there are fewer survivors. Chandler was one of five at the Hawaii ceremony. They're part of America's story, and today marks a new chapter for some well-hiked trails that weave through Wisconsin. Today, Senator Tammy Baldwin designated the Ice Age Trail and the North Country Scenic Trail as national parks. This means the trails get more access to federal resources and money to better maintain and preserve them. Baldwin says this boost to our trails further highlights what we already know about their beauty. Running through the great north woods, over rolling hills and prairies, past inland lakes and waters, and finally winding up along Lake Michigan, this trail showcases some of the best that our state has to offer. The Ice Age Trail is 1,200 miles throughout the Badger State. The North Country Trail stretches through many northern states, including Wisconsin. Some advice today from the DNR on how to reduce waste during the holiday season. The agency is focusing on recycling and food waste prevention. There are items that can go in the recycling bin, like cardboard. They say to flatten all boxes first. And plain paper, but not necessarily wrapping paper. Many recyclers don't don't want any of that. Another common reason that programs will just say no wrapping paper at all is because people tend to include the bows and the ribbons with their wrapping paper when they're recycling. Or they'll take their wrapping paper and roll it into a ball. They also say don't throw old Christmas lights in the recycle bin. The light cords get wrapped around recycling equipment, bringing the entire operation to a grinding halt. Well, it's the final push for the community book drive at the Madison Reading Project. Supporting the book drive, which ends tomorrow, will allow the local nonprofit to get thousands of new books for kids in the 608 to take home and keep. The Madison Reading Project has raised more than 90% of its $100,000 goal. Local businesses like Lake City Books downtown are happy to help the cause. As a new business, I thought it was really important to kick it off right this year with the holidays and be contributing back to the community right away. So we're offering 10% off any books that you donate, which is a little bit of uh, our own donation. We're also offering all of the tips that we get when we gift wrap presents this year. We're giving those all to the Madison Reading Project as well. The Madison Reading Project is hoping to gift 15,000 new books to kids ahead of winter break. If you'd like to support the community book drive, you can find a link on channel3000.com. While the travel industry is looking healthy, we'll have the numbers. And two Wisconsin siblings are taking their love of Legos to primetime television. How the plastic bricks have helped them build a bridge they didn't know they needed. We often get asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices after an accident? The answer is very simple, yes. We don't get paid until we win your case. It costs you nothing up front to hire Gruber Law Offices. The call, the consultation, all free. You pay nothing until we win your case. It's just that simple. Call us today, Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Hey, neighbor, you look happy. I just got the statement from my last doctor visit. And you're happy about it? I actually am. I have a Medicare Advantage plan from Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield, so I know exactly what's covered. It really helps me to stay on budget. 
Is it expensive? I'm on a fixed income and prices lately make it almost impossible to stick to my budget. It's actually quite reasonable and saves me money. Plus, I get all the benefits I need in one simple plan. So it's easy and affordable. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans have prices to fit your budget and provide the benefits you may need in one convenient plan. Just tell us your needs and your zip code, and we'll help you find a plan that's right for you. You may even be able to get a plan with additional benefits like dental, hearing, prescription drug coverage, and more. But you don't get a Medicare Advantage plan automatically. You have to take action. The Medicare annual enrollment period is right now. And you may be eligible for a plan today. Call Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield now to find out what over 32 million friendly neighbors already know about our Medicare Advantage plans. We have knowledgeable licensed insurance agents standing by 24-7, ready to help Medicare members just like you. The call is free and there's no obligation to enroll. You may be able to get a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits you want. I had the same plan for years, but it just wasn't working for me anymore. I called and I couldn't believe what they had to offer. Plus, it's the Medicare annual enrollment period right now, so you might even be able to enroll in a plan today. What's that number again? Call Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield today. Call 800-608-5381. That's 800-608-5381. 800-608-5381. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV, your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. News 3 Now, live at 4. Welcome back. It's the first round of the Sweet 16 tonight for the mm -hmm. Wisconsin volleyball team. The Badgers are trying to reach their third Final Four in four seasons. They'll take on number five, Penn State, at 7 o'clock tonight at the UW Fieldhouse. And it's going to be a big weekend for the Badger women's hockey team. They've got the high-pressure border battle rivalry series in Minnesota. Captain Britta Curl talked about how the Wisconsin team deals with that pressure in matches like these with sports director Zach Hanley during this week's taping of the Wisconsin Huddle. I think we feel from our fans a really high expectation and that pushes us to be better. And we also know that every weekend we're going to get everyone's best, which um, sharpens us in practice. You know, um, we expect to be have targets on our backs. Um, I think that makes us play better. We have the type of players that rise to occasions and um, it's always pushed us. Clearly, we've uh, had success through that. The border battle begins tomorrow night in Minneapolis, and Saturday's series finale will air on Television Wisconsin starting at 2 o'clock. And you can catch the Wisconsin Huddle with Britta Curl tomorrow night at 6.30 right here on News 3 Now. There is a welcome trend in the travel industry right now, a return to normalcy after years of uncertainty during COVID. Over the summer, for example, the popular hotel chain Hilton saw its highest occupancy rates since the pandemic. On CBS Mornings, Hilton Worldwide CEO and President Christopher Nacetta shared the findings of the company's 2024 travel trends report, including how the younger generations travel. They're leading the charge in leisure travel, so they'll okay. do business trips that convert into leisure trips, you know, at the end of a week. A they more tailored they, experience. They obviously want what everybody wants, but I think younger travelers want everything controlled from the palm of their hand. Nasetta also said he's helping lead the industry to make sure there is full transparency around resort fees and other so-called hidden fees. Wall Street snapped a three-day losing streak this Thursday with the Dow gaining 63 points. The Nasdaq Composite was up 193 and the S&P 500 gained 36. Well, things we love from childhood are often the building blocks for our lives when we become adults. And as Brady Mallory tells us, that's true for a brother and sister from Milwaukee.
Well, if you watch the TV series Lego Masters, you know Nalita and Paul. I got to interview them about how they're doing in the competition and how their favorite toy brought them together not once, but twice. It's easy to feel a bit scattered when a bunch of random pieces don't give you much peace of mind. But so you can make three different kind of creations. Something clicks but... for Nalita Nelson. <sighs> Let's get started. Looking at her shelves, you've probably put it together. She's very good at putting things together. Let's see where this goes. You know, Nelson's love for right? Lego started with her big brother, Paul Wellington, when they were kids in Milwaukee. He played with them, so naturally, <laughs> she did too. Little kids, honestly, like, I was the little sister got, that got on my brother's nerves. I believe that was always following me around, always wanted to play with my, my cars, with Lego, always wanted to be around me. If you thought once they grew up, these two let go a Lego, think again. The brother-sister team is competing on season four of Lego Masters. Are you as excited to meet me as I am to meet you? Hosted by Will Arnett. Honestly, it was quite surreal. I mean, just never in my wildest dreams that I expect to be on TV than something I love. And it's like, oh my God, we're kids again. Like, it's, I love it, honestly. The reality show has 12 teams build creations from Lego pieces in multiple challenges. Well, I see a design. I know what pieces can work to make this. I love it here. <laughs> These brick masters had a big goal to at least make it through the first episode. Our initial strategy was to be average. That makes sense. Don't send out, also don't go home. It's worked. They're in the top three finalists. One, I'm like, oh yeah, we can win this thing. Okay, here's what's on the line. $100,000, and the winners also get their work immortalized into an actual Lego set. However, they've already claimed an unexpected prize. The siblings say their relationship fell apart as they got older. Nelson lives in Milwaukee and Wellington in Ohio. Lego Masters was the first time in a long time they'd spent time together. Oh, I honestly cry, <laughs> just like behind the scenes, because it's like, wow, I, I didn't realize how much I missed you. Nalita Nelson and Paul Wellington thought they were just going to be on TV. Even at work, they're like, the word's getting around, and it's like, yeah, she's famous. They're like, oh my God, can I get an autograph? While they were playing with Lego, the pieces just kind of fell into place. And of course, this brother and sister knew how to build them to put their bond back together. Our relationship is much stronger right now. We talk more often, which has been great so far. And I feel like literally being on the show just put us right back to where we needed to be, like stuck together like glue, and I love it. Well, they filmed this show last winter, so they've been sitting on the secret of how they did ever since. Of course, I asked them for all of us if they won. Mm, they wouldn't give me any hints, though. <laughs> the series is on the Fox Network uh, that has our, our uh, news partner, News mm -hmm. 3 Now, on it every Thursday night at 8 p.m., and the finale is next Thursday. Okay, so we'll find out. I know. I'm so excited for those two. They were so much fun. Oh, they're so great. And, yeah. I mean, so they get a challenge. Is it like any reality show where they say, okay, you have to build a spaceship? Yeah, 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 yeah. Legos. And they actually won uh, their challenge when it was um, a, a telescope. They said that that was very tricky. They were really nervous, but they, they won that. And then that drawing of the Dairy Fairy, mm -hmm. that was a boat that they built. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, to be a kid again, yeah. right? To bring all that joy back. While the rest of us were stepping on them, they were building with them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. All, all right. right, next Thursday, yeah. right? Okay, Thank for the you. finale. Thank, Thank you, you, Brady. Well, Alex's forecast is coming up in a bit with some showers in it. And then you'll want to stay tuned for a very special Beyond the Barometer segment. We promise <laughs> it will be memorable. That's when Live at Four continues. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. <laughs> Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. When an inexperienced Whole Foods driver tipped his truck over while pulling off the interstate to take a break, a bus carrying a high school band ran into the overturned semi. The crash killed five people and injured dozens of others. Two of the victims' families hired Habish, Habish, and Rotier. The settlements they received totaled over four and a half million dollars. And the skill expended by the Habish team is head and shoulders above one phone call and a quick settlement. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. 
Okay, floor and decor, show me what you've got. Now this tile says spa day all day, but this tile says classic on glam. And this modern look, it's sleek yet chic. Okay, I've got it. Everything I need to pull this project together and all at the perfect price. At Floor & Decor, you can realize any aspirational project at an inspirational price. Because with an unmatched selection of high quality products, all at everyday low prices, your bathroom upgrade has never been more you. Discover Floor & Decor today. Salon Pass, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. Stella uses AT&T. Abby has Spectrum One. With AT&T, Stella pays $110 a month for her internet and mobile. Plus monthly fees. Ouch. With Spectrum One, Abby gets internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. That's a good deal. I know. Abby saves big, over $75 a month. That's over $900 in savings. I'm switching to Spectrum. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store to get Spectrum One. This year, let Ford make the holidays bright and bring everyone together. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco hey, Sport. Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the confidence of goat modes. And the versatile Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. And with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. See your Ford dealer today during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. At Consumer Cellular, our customer service team is based here in America. America? America. From sea to shining sea. Beautiful. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. <laughs> Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. Look at this. The holiday tree lighting at British Parliament didn't exactly go as planned. <laughs> oh, no. Only half of the lights kicked on. Even though it was half lit, the crowd was still full of festive cheer. So on that note, happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> hey, they got a viral moment out of it. Now the whole world has seen it. <laughs> They'll all donate their lights to London now. And before we get the forecast, a yep. quick reminder mm -hmm. that veterinarian Carrie Donahue will be here a little later. She's going to be taking your pet questions. So if you have a pet question, email it right now, tips at channel3000.com. And you have a question for Carrie, too. But I got your a dog Loki, Loki question. Okay. He's, a, he's a German Shepherd mix, and he has a, a fascination for finding little decorative balls on... Christmas ornaments, oh, and he no, likes boy. to have a little nibble, so I'm going to ask a question about that. But I think that's a common problem. Before that, we got to do the weather yes. stuff, too. Yeah. 50s for wow. Friday. 50s. Yes, you're very welcome. I appreciate that. You're I'm a snow person, <laughs> but I won't complain, because it is a gift on December 7th. A little bit of snow in the forecast, too. We'll cover all that in just a bit. Great. We'll be right back. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All extra work and not cutting corners it takes a little longer but it's how we've always done it at culver's because making your meal with care shows how much we care from wisconsin with love welcome to delicious quartz takes a different approach to health insurance we know every life well lived is a journey and we're here to light the way at every step that's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. 
It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tervaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tervaya. Pick and Save gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, enter all gold here, folks, because we've got temperatures in the 50s that we're tracking again for your Friday. That weather system that we were first to warn about last weekend, it's still in the cards, but the chance for snow with this weather system not looking very high. Good news as we go out into next week. Temperatures staying at above normal for this time of year. We've got 47 right now in Madison, 47 in McFarland, 48 in Middleton. Our friends out to the west basking at 50 degrees. Cross Plains across the rest of southern Wisconsin. Look at this, 47, 47. We got a 51 in Boscoville right now. Normal high temperatures for this time of year. They're in the middle 30s, so we're way north of that. Look at these temperatures out here. Again, enter the gold glasses because we have temperatures 10 in some cases, 15 degrees above normal for where we should be this time of year, which is, uh, again, in the middle 30s out there. These are our low temperatures expected for tonight. You'd think, well, are these high temperatures, Alex? Nope, we're going to do 42 in Madison, 46 in Lone Rock, 42. That's a chilly spot up towards Camp Douglas. And as we carry on into your Friday, basking at 53 in Camp Douglas, 54 in Lone Rock, 54 in Madison, and a 56 in Janesville for December. That temperature trend here, here's that weather system. As we go into your Saturday, temperatures will tumble behind it, but normal for this time of year, low to mid 30s. And we're staying above that as we go out into next week. Temperatures back into the 40s by the time we get to this time next week. Here comes that weather system here as we track on future track 12 o'clock in the morning. Let's say Monroe to Janesville. Actually, this is just updating here and uh, shower activity is what we're expecting. Let's say areas off to the north and west of Richland Center. Lesser of a chance of precipitation, better chances for areas Mineral Point, Madison and points off to the east. But notice you're not really seeing any whites or pinks in there. If we do get any snow on that backside of the weather system here, it should be very light. At most an inch, friends up towards Juneau and Adams County stand the better chances to sneak that. Again, rain showers here as we go into the wee hours of your Saturday morning here as we track this weather system across Dane County. And by the time we get to 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, that Weather systems out of here, Dane County, by the time we get into your Saturday. In that 7 to 10 day forecast, look at this. A treat here, folks. Those temperatures staying in the upper 30s to lower 40s in that 10 day forecast. And again, normal highs at the end are in the lower 30s. Pretty picture here from Marquette County. Look at that stunning sunset. You could send us those weather photos at channel3000.com slash weather. Just click that post your own button. And I think we have a couple of weather photos here. Clint sending us that pretty photo there, that sunset over the town of Windsor. Heidi from Janesville, another pretty sunrise sunset picture. We've had plenty of those. We've had over 300 photos sent to our website just over the past couple of weeks. You know, you folks, I like to talk about the weather, report the weather, but this is the best part is to be able to show the weather. Stunning, Linda. Look at that. Beautiful photo there, folks. Again, channel3000.com slash weather. You can also send pictures just like Tim did there through the First Warren Weather app. It's connected. What we see here on the First Warren Weather team end and that little fox there, Susan said, I guess that on our end, we just click accept and then we show the photos right here on air.
All right, thank you, Alex. And now Alex is tossing it over to Gary, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Well, time you for beyond the barometer. Yeah. To make tonight. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I informed our staff that I will be retiring as chief meteorologist at the end of February of next year. Um, I've been here for almost a third of a century, actually a little more <laughs> than a third of a century by the time we, we hit that point. And uh, it's time to, uh, to, to move on. Uh, this is entirely my decision. Alex Harrington will be taking over as chief meteorologist at that point. So I know the station and the weather department will be in good hands. And so. don't cry, because you're going <laughs> gonna to make me cry. You and I have traveled a long road together. Gary and I first started working together in the 1980s <laughs> in, <laughs> in Rhinelander. <laughs> in Rhinelander. Um, but why now? Do you, why is now the right time? Well, you know, uh, this is kind of a difficult time for me because uh, if you remember last year at this point, uh, my wife Jean passed away very unexpectedly mm -hmm. uh, right before Christmas. And um, it, it, it took a while for me to come back, and coming back to work was, was certainly helpful at, at that point. Um, and, you know, I got back into, into things, and, and, you know, the people here were, were just perfect, I mean, just beyond uh, helpful, and, and, uh, and, you know, it really made a, a big difference to me, uh, <laughs> getting back to work. But, um, you know, once I saw, you know, my, fr my son Chuck was okay, you know, I could start getting back into, into things. But the, the reality of this job is it, it takes a lot of your time. I mean, you, you know, you're always on call. Severe mm -hmm. weather, you know, somebody calls in sick, somebody's got to be here, you know, and, and that's just the, uh, just the uh, uh, reality of the job. Uh, but uh, at, at the same time, um, very suddenly, like right before Memorial Day of this past year, um, <laughs> I had tickets for a Cubs game. Um, a woman that I had met nine years ago on one of our holiday vacation trips to Austria and Germany, uh, her dad could, was, was ill. Her mom asked Priscilla if she would go with. I met her, you know, like I meet everybody else on holiday vacation trips. I knew she was a baseball fan. She had lost her husband very similarly, same time of year, um, five years before. And so um, I just I asked, I had an extra ticket. I asked her if she wanted to go to the Cubs game. And so, you know, we spent time in the car and just we, we hit it off very well. Just, you know, mm -hmm. uh, something we both could relate to, you know, having mm -hmm. lost a spouse at an early age. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and we've been dating ever since. And, you know, so now, you know, both of us having lost a spouse at mm -hmm. an early age, you start to realize <laughs> that Priorities life's a little change. more fragile. Yeah. Priorities Here. change. You yep. take one of these, catch, no, no, catch, catch your breath. And we, we want to share so. something special with you. <laughs> okay. Let's take a little trip down okay. memory lane, shall we? that would kind of pass through once in a while. There were just a couple of drops of rain reported for our so far southwestern viewers. In a while. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Count those hairs. All right. Have a good day. Gary Canalti has the AMS seal of approval. This morning, skies are clear to partly cloudy across most of southern Wisconsin. Sounds However, great. Sure does. I, I just say. hope we don't make up for it further on down. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be. We must be getting a little bit spoiled because I... Oh. Now, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti from the News 3 Weather Center. All right, let's go to get, There he is now. There's a little leprechaun. <laughs> for the overnight hours, but afternoon high temperatures uh, warmed up a little bit. From our weather spotters and meteorologist Gary Canalti. Oh my gosh! Wow. But well, we've got <laughs> we've got time still. Yeah, uh, another almost three months. Uh, it's the end of February. Um, mm -hmm. Tom Skilling from WGN is retiring on the 28th. I decided to retire on the 29th since it's a leap year. I don't want to step on time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's perfect. But uh, that's but yeah. Perfect. So but I want to thank everybody here. Tom Beer who hired me back in the the uh, early or 1990. Uh, you know the station management, uh, Liz Burns, Brian Burns. You know. Uh, our ownership, uh, Lyle Banks, our general manager, Kyle Fobey, our, our news director, um, all the staff here, uh, and you, the viewers. I mean, I, I found out. I love you are. <laughs> yeah, if we, yeah, you know, after Jean passed away and after I had COVID, so. Mm -hmm. um, oh, 
Stop. <laughs> okay, you two. Yes, I know. All right. <laughs> no, it's we're going to we're 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 celebrate soon. Yes, we are. There's still time to celebrate. We will. You are loved, yeah. and we still have you. It's like the Hotel California. You can check out, but you can't leave. <laughs> yes, exactly. So and, and, and he will still be around. I, I will be around, and, you know, I, I may be available for some occasional mm -hmm. fill in, too. So we'll see how that goes. So. We'll have okay. our people get in touch with right. your people. We All love right. you. Guys. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> change is inevitable, and it isn't always easy. But what if one phone call could help change your Medicare coverage for the better? New Medicare Advantage plans come out every single year, and 2024 plans with more benefits may be available in your zip code. Call the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Benefits Helpline to find Medicare Advantage plans with additional benefits in your area. The best time to call is right now, during the Medicare Annual Enrollment Period. Medicare Advantage plan benefits can change each year. If you're paying more than you can afford for your health care costs or your coverage needs have changed, call the number on your screen now for a free Medicare benefits review. Even if you already have a Medicare plan you're satisfied with, a Medicare Advantage plan with additional benefits may be available. Anyone with Medicare should call. If there's a Medicare Advantage plan that may be a better fit for you, we can help you find it and enroll for the 2024 plan year. Call today to speak with a licensed insurance agent to discover Medicare Advantage plan options in your area. If you called last year, call again. New Medicare Advantage plans may be available that cover more than your current plan. You won't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. Call to enroll today. The deadline to change plans during the Medicare annual enrollment period is December 7th. This is one of the only times you can make changes to your Medicare coverage each year. So the time to call is now. Change can be a good thing. Enrolling in an Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plan could mean additional plan benefits or more coverage than your current plan. Call the Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Benefits Helpline to enroll now before the annual enrollment period ends. Call 800-571-2781. 800-571-2781. That's 800-571-2781. Call now. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Come find familiar. Experience new. After the talk to impeach Justice Janet Protasiewicz, one of the key deadlines has already passed. We break down what this means for Republicans' efforts to overturn the liberal court. Friday will be unseasonably mild with high temperatures climbing into the middle 50s. Rain showers are likely later Friday night through Saturday morning as temperatures turn colder. At 5, I'll let you know if there's any snow in our future. And ahead at 6, Beloit takes a groundbreaking step in mental health response. We look at the new pilot program pairing police responses with professional support tonight at 6. Well, this holiday season is extra special for a Philadelphia area family learning to live with a pretty rare disease. New research is allowing the family to enjoy the holidays with their little girl like they have never been able to do before. Stephanie Stahl has the story. Do that one first. This is the first holiday that seven-year-old Emma Watson has known and enjoyed. It's like we're brand new parents. Emma has a rare genetic form of epilepsy called Dravet syndrome that causes a constellation of developmental delays. She didn't speak for all six years. Nicole Watson says Emma was four months old when she had her first seizure and stopped breathing. And we had no idea what had happened to her. It was, it was the scariest moment in my life. It was the start of our life. It became a life filled with medical fears. The seizures kept happening, and there was no diagnosis from doctors. They just kept saying, kids have seizures. It's not a big deal. It's never going to happen again. You knew as a mom that was not normal. You knew this was not normal. The family switched doctors and finally learned through genetic testing what was wrong. Gervais syndrome, seizures, and uh, what goes along with it usually changes every year. Because it's so rare, research and treatments are limited, something Nicole is working to change by raising awareness and funding. 
Bella. Hi, Bella. Emma is now on a new medication that's Bella reduced wearing? the seizures and What's made her favorite? more aware and functional. This Christmas is a whole new revelation. Now, this year, she is so excited. The new medication that Emma just started that really helped her quality of life last year was just approved. This will be a Christmas filled with toys and new beginnings for the Percocy family. Grateful for the strides Emma is making. She's where she's supposed to be for Emma. And this holiday season, they have a simple wish that it's picture perfect. <laughs> Stephanie Stahl, CBS News. There is no cure for Dravet syndrome, but the Watson family is hoping research will lead to better treatments. Veterinarian Carrie Donahue is next with some ideas on how to keep your pets safe through the holidays. You can still email a question at tips at channel3000.com. Uh, so if you have a question about your pet, email right now and Carrie will answer your questions when we come back. Happy holidays from our dwellings family to yours. Happy holidays! This year, let Ford make the holidays bright and bring everyone together. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco hey, Sport. Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the confidence of goat modes. And the versatile Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. And with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. See your Ford dealer today during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Hi, I'm Gary Canulty, and I'm inviting you on a holiday vacations tour. Join me March 23rd through April 1st as we become immersed in Hawaiian culture and take in breathtaking views of Oahu, Kauai, and Maui. Enjoy a balance of scheduled must-see attractions and free time to relax in paradise. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC for more information and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. Force and Arts with gifts so good the stockings stuff themselves. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's connecting you with top medical specialists after a serious injury. It's holding the insurance company responsible for your lost wages and your hospital bills. It's a guarantee that we'll be with you every step of the way and won't accept anything less than the maximum payment you deserve. We'll speak with you for free, and there's no fee until we get results for you. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call us today. I volunteer because it's, I think, the right thing to do, and um, selfishly, yeah, I, I get a lot of joy from doing it. It's a joy that comes from taking people to where they need to go. Just watch yourself coming out. You can't bottle it. You can't buy it. That only comes from volunteerism. When people really need to get to those medical appointments and they don't have any other means, I, I just look at it as kind of like the least I can do to try to help out. there folks look looks like we have an accident at the intersection of 39 and 12 that's why 12 eastbound right now is a slow go at 15 miles per hour those who we swing on to our friends down towards the south towards the east toward Janesville things are looking pretty good northbound and southbound and as we swing up to the north and to the west towards the Dells Things are a pretty good go there at 70 miles per hour. Maybe you want to even open up the sunroof, so to speak, with all these mild temperatures. I think things are going to be A-OK -okay there, folks, with our traffic for the rest of this evening going on into your Friday morning. 
Thank you, Alex. It is time to get your pet questions answered live. Veterinarian Dr. Carrie Donahue from Full Circle Holistic Veterinary Care is with us. And you can still email a question at tips at channel3000.com. Hi, Carrie. How are you Hello. doing? Good. Good to Thank see you. you. All right. Too. So we have a question from Bonnie. And mm -hmm. she says she has a, a year old cat. He's very wild and destructive at night. He is a lover and a good boy, but just kind of wild. Oh, <laughs> Any suggestions? Well, yeah, and cats can go through this. He's still young, so mm -hmm. it could be something that as he gets older, he'll kind of settle down, but he might always have those bursts of energy. And one thing she could try would be kind of like a calming supplement. CBD oil is very mm -hmm. nice, safe, natural way to calm cats down. Melatonin is another thing that you could give at night that might help the cat sleep if it really seems like it's, you know, kind of mm -hmm. a bothersome thing. I've seen they've got like plugins mm -hmm. that uh, for like anxiety or the something like diffusers. that. Is that a, yeah. is that a, a real thing and it, and is it a works? It's a real thing and it actually works. It's the pheromones and the pheromones help cats feel just less stressed out and more adjusted. Okay. And you know, kind of less crazy and then it helps them to get along with other cats a lot better. Oh, so and you have two cats, yeah. so that would be uh -huh. good. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Now, we, Alex is here. Alex is back <laughs> because we were just, it's great you're here today, Carrie, because you have a great story about your naughty dog. Oh, yes. boy, do I do Loki. Let's take a look at the picture there that's on <laughs> Max 2 right now. This is what Loki decided would be tasty. Wait, what is that? That is a styrofoam about the size of a ping pong oh, ball no. crab apple. We every holiday we tell my family get those presents all those decorative items up off the ground. He happened to find one that was still lurking <laughs> and he had that in his mouth. Oh no. And it took us 20 minutes for us to get him to release that. So my oh, question is goodness. He gets fed kibble and chicken, and he gets cheese and crackers and Cheetos and all these things <laughs> over the holidays. So, yeah. he, what, what would possess him to do that? Oh my gosh, just a dog being a dog. I mean, they're <laughs> so curious, and anything new and interesting, that's kind of how they explore the world, too. You know, sniff a little bit, take it in the mouth. Maybe he would not have swallowed it. You just don't know. Yeah. But I think you did the right thing with trying to get things up off of his mm -hmm. level and kind of knowing that that might be an issue and now you kind of do um, because that can be a real issue especially around the holidays there are all these new things out and dogs and cats are so curious and can really get into things that they shouldn't what if loki did swallow it what do you mm, do yeah, yeah. Uh, that look i mean what you said the ping pong ball size huge. that's a concern because that gets into the mm -hmm. can get through the stomach but once it starts to go through the gi tract that's where Oof. it can cause a blockage yeah. and it might not pass through and that's an emergency surgery Whoa. to have that taken okay. out so you just yeah you don't want anything like that to happen no mm -hmm. cheetos for loki yeah, tonight no cheetos either. <laughs> that's the other thing. okay can i ask a quick question here about mm -hmm. my two cats mm -hmm. saint nick came by the house yesterday my neighbors and they had a, a present for the cats so it was mm -hmm. wrapped up i came downstairs to find catnip all over uh. all over and um, and I found both of my cats passed out <laughs> under the Christmas tree. I thought they were dead, and I poked them. But yeah, so can can they OD? Is it possible to OD they on really, cat? There, there really isn't a worry okay. about a cat overdosing on okay. catnip, which is a good thing that they can enjoy it as much as you know you uh -huh. can allow them yeah. to. <laughs> and they'll probably mm -hmm. just do like what your cats did and just okay. kind of sleep it off. They're just chill. and wake up and ready to go again. <laughs> okay, all right. And, and really Thank quickly, goodness. anything you want people to remember about pets and the holidays? I think the big thing is just you know kind of what we touched on a little bit is just keeping them away from things that might cause them either distress mm -hmm. or you know illness and okay. especially the holiday foods okay there's a lot out there that they can get into that can make them pretty sick all right so. thank you very much for joining us thank you for saving the day <laughs> carrie right. for us great to see you we'll be right back don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year's sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Yeah, you know. That classic Arby's. Roast beef. Roast beef. Four for ten dollars. Arby's. We have the meat.
At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find bicycle store quality, electric e-bikes from Trek, Electra, Felt, Giant, and more. Trek offers the best-selling e-bike in America, Trek Verve Plus, under $2,500. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find fat e-bikes, mountain e-bikes, road e-bikes, bike path e-bikes, and more. Free services included. The place to shop for your new e-bike is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. And Tresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alaskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! New at 5, after the talk to impeach Supreme Court Justice Janet Pernasewitz, one of the key deadlines has already passed. Will Keneally breaks down what this means for Republicans' efforts to overturn the liberal court and what could come next. That's coming up at 5. If we can change one kid's life for the better, we've won. A season of giving to kids who might otherwise find no gifts waiting for them on Christmas morning. I'll show you how a local organization is making sure highly mobile kids get a visit from Santa. Monday at 10. All right there, folks, these are our low temperatures. These aren't high temperatures. Starting off in the 40s for your Friday morning, we all bask in the 50-degree weather in December. Yes, low to mid-50s, that weather system for the weekend, if we get any snow, very light, inch or less, up towards Juneau and Adams counties. And then following that weather system, if you like, mild December weather, well, guess what? You got it in the 10-day forecast here, looking mighty pretty all the way out through much of next week. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on December 15th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine Fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving, but it's nice to be recognized. BMO. We keep this love in a photograph. We made these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, our hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. My name's Paul, and I'm always happy to help you try to find that right garage door for your house. We had an idea of what we wanted, but when you actually see it, we are just so excited. We love them. Precision door service, a name you can trust. We've got our vision and so much to choose from. But with free design services, our budget and our time are well spent. At Floor & Decor, with a wide selection of products all at everyday low prices, creating a space to match your taste has never been easier. Discover Floor & Decor today. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on December 15th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. 
We started the newscast with a story about Hanukkah and we end the show with another one in our final touch. The world's tallest electronic menorah is lighting up the South Florida skyline in downtown Miami. The 700 foot tall Paramount Miami World Center Superstructure features a golden candelabra with eight flickering candles. Through the colossal center column appears the greeting, Happy Hanukkah in both English and Hebrew. Oh, that's beautiful. Happy Hanukkah to everyone who celebrates. Thanks, Charlotte. You are welcome. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.